Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Uh, welcome to my channel. Today is Sunday, March 28th, 2021, and this is a pepper grow update. All right, so this update's going to be kind of all over the place. So I've got different um, stages of growth and some issues I've run into, I'll show you. But it, everything, for the most part, is doing really well. So I'm using these wicking cups and nutrient water and they fit in here so there's a couple reasons I, i'm using these um one is just it's kind of a improvement over the double cup method and that you can fill these up to the top line there and um, gives you a little more time less filling uh, the downside with any double cups is they are very easy to tip over and they don't look pretty so i've got some three inch holes in these totes and this is just a concrete mixing tub with pieces of wood with three inch holes and it just keeps these from tipping over. The downside is it was a lot of work doing that and I only have room for about half of my plants this way so I'm gonna have to have some just sitting on you know wrist tipping them over and they'll be at different heights so I don't, I don't know if this was a great solution to even use this but uh, for, a, for a few plants it, it's pretty cool and uh, I'll show you how I set these up later it's really easy to do. So anyway the, the plants are doing well these have been in here um, a couple weeks longer than these. All of them came out of the air garden and I can tell that these are getting a little too much fertilizer. You can see some of the um, spots on it. Some of these kind of burned a little bit and the leaves are kind of crinkling up some. I don't think it's the light. I've got two different lights in here. The Mars Hydro SP2 250 and the Viper Spectra XS 1500 but I've got them adjusted so there's about an average of 200 ppfd on both sides. Uh, this one I've got it raised up really high full power. This one's uh, half height of the tent and it's about 50 percent power. This is, it's got an adjustable dimmer on the right side. I'll go over a few of these. These tall ones here and here are the Jericho Orange. Um, these with the dark leaves are the three-way boot cross with the gold pheno that I got last year from originally Justin White Seeds. Um, this is a Primo Cross uh, chocolate originally from Jimmy Johnson. This is a saved seed from last year um, that produced chocolate pods and I really liked it so I grew it again. Uh, this is, I've got like three of these. It's um, seed from Susan Garza Peach Mayan Hab F2. This one's starting to flower a little bit. Another one from uh, Jimmy Johnson, Reaper Cross with Chupatino F2. It's already got some bud sites. I've got, I think, two or three of these. This is a Lingria from um, that big cracky that I did last year. This is a save seed from that plant. This is a Kangstar Lemon Starburst. This is a Trinidad Dog Brown. This is super hot chocolate pepper. Two back here are, are from Save Seed from a Feria cross where I had some yellow orange pods. Um, California Reaper has some issues, but it's starting to do well. I've got a couple of Reaper cross on Maruga having a little issues. Uh, I got a little bit of nutrient burn, but these are coming out of it. This is a Weary Weary. Another uh, Reaper Cross Chupatino looks pretty good. This is uh, Kangsta Yellow from the Save Seed from last year. Costco Market Peru, that's uh, seed Jimmy Johnson sent me. It's another Primo uh, Cross Chocolate. Uh, back here, side by side, I've got two uh, Olive Ricardos. This is an uh, old school boot. Another mine have back there. This is a sweet shito. This is a my cross of a sweet shito crossed with stavros. To address the over fertilizing, what I did originally was when I um, took them out of the air garden and then set these up, I filled the cups uh, about half and half water with full strength master blend. I'll put a link in the description to the video where I show how, how I mix that. Subsequent refills, I was still mixing water and, and master blend and then I started just topping up with uh, full strength. So these have been getting full strength a little longer. 
because that's why I think it's a, a too much nutrient. So I mixed a new batch that's 75% strength and I'm going to uh, dump all the water out of the, all the nutrients out of these and do a half and half again with a 75% and then a top up from there. So I think at a lower, I've given the full strength to passive fed systems like this, but that's great with full, uh, full size plants, but these still a little uh, younger. I think overall they, they look really good and I've got to get some others down here. It won't be long before I'll be putting these just in the trays and setting them on the porch to harden off. That's one thing I like about this, um, this setup. I can have these wicking out so I don't, it's, it gives you a little more like a reservoir. With a double cup method, you only get that much in the bottom of the cup, so you're constantly having to fill. And then when I'm ready to, to move these, I can just take these out and drop them straight into a 1020 tray. And then just uh, bottom feed every every day or, t or every other day or so. And they'll, they'll transition, and then I'll put them out in the containers later. So I guess some pros and cons with this setup. Uh, again, I'll, I'll show you how I do those. It's really easy. Okay, this is what I've got left in the air garden, and um, I've left these in here way, way too long. You shouldn't let them be in here this this long. A couple of reasons. One, it's going to be hard to pull these out, and two, it blocks light on the plants that aren't as far along. And this one catch up, but like this one here didn't make it, so that's a problem. But I'm going to work on getting these out of here today and tomorrow. Uh, I've got a couple that I've already transplanted out. I haven't moved downstairs. An old school boot. Mango hab. All, all of my mango habs have the have almost like a chlorosis. So all the new leaves are coming out like this. And it's just with that particular plant. And this is saved seed from last year. So it must have something, the genetics with that. This is another reaper cross of Maruga. Uh, some of these you'll see a little bit of a, a film. That's not aphid juice. As far as I know, these don't have aphids. But I've been doing a like a preventive on my plants this year with this um, Lost Coast Plant Therapy. It's all natural. Kills broad mites, russet mites, aphids, fungus gnats, thrips, and the eggs. It's safe to get on you and breathe. I've got them measured out uh, like 24 ounces of water, two dropper fulls. Um, it equates to what the instructions are. But it's got soybean oil, peppermint oil, citric acid, uh, isopropyl alcohol, soap, a few other things. Uh, Aaron Hernandez of Pepper Donkey sent me this. But you can also get a, like a smaller a sample for free if you go to their website. Try to identify a few of these. Uh, the second one, this is another Jericho Orange. This is another Lingria. Another Mango Hab. California Reaper there. Uh, this is a Yellow Reaper. This is Save Seed from a pod that Jim Kingman sent me. And this is a Kingsta Yellow. This is a Kingstar Lemon Starburst. Another Kingsta Yellow here. I have a secondary light, so you may not be able to see it, but so that's the problem when these go too long, the roots are going to be tangled up. With these, uh, the seed starter tray, they're really good for not hanging up the roots like the white baskets are in the regular seed deck, because they're really not as hard as it looks to get these out. One thing uh, that's helpful for pulling these out, especially when I mean, at any stage, are these uh, gun cleaning tools. You can get them on Amazon really cheap, but the one with the curved tip is good and then you can reach down in the um, where the sponge is and it kind of helps to, to lift it up without putting too much stress on the plant. Uh, so, and it's also good for um, when you're putting seeds in the little um, in the pods, you can kind of tamp them down a little bit with, with this. Works really well. So it's just a tip. I'll put a link to these in the description too. Yeah, so let me show you just real quickly how I transplant one of these. And again, um, you really I should have taken these out way longer. I've just been been behind on stuff, procrastinating, but I've let it go way too long. So so this is bad, but it's 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 not the end of the world. I can still get these out. I'll just do a quick demonstration, but I'm just using like eighth of an inch solid cord nylon rope. This is actually paracord material. And it's it's one long piece that's looped up into here and down, and then this is just cocoa. I'll show you how I uh, how I transfer these. All right, so I'm going to take out this yellow reaper right here. Lift it under. So this pulling out a lot easier than you think it would in the seed starting deck. You're going to have it snagged. And the fuse in the white basket with the um, regular deck. But that's 
and along the roots. I could probably trim these roots back, but I'm just going to put them in there like they are. Okay, so this is just um, Canna brand Cocoa Core. This is the one that was like the, the brick. Actually, I got another I can show you. If you buy the bricks of it, it comes in uh, two of these, and each one is it, it's, it's, it has its own little bag, which is convenient. Put in, you leave it in the bag and add water. Some of this has dried out a little bit, but it's good stuff. I haven't had any problems with pests in the counter brand. It costs a little more than some of the cheap cocoa, but it's really not that bad for stuff like this. So let's take one of these. Uh, I, I like these um, five inch tall uh, nursery pots. They're called channel, root channel pots. And the guy at the grocery store explained to me that these um, protrusions, or whatever you call these. But anyway, basically they encourage the roots to kind of go straight down. They will eventually kind of coil around, but they don't, they prevent a lot of that circular root coiling that you'll get with the round pots. Or the ones that don't have these, whatever these are, root channels. So they, I noticed that they, the roots look better coming out of these last year, so I used them again. Uh, I ended up buying the, you can get them at the grocery stores. They'll fit in the 1020 trays. It's three and a half inch diameter at the top. Uh, you can get them on eBay a little cheaper, shop around. So I just take a piece of masking tape right where the pepper is and just take a piece of my core. I usually like, if I'm doing a bunch, I'll pre-cut a bunch of these out. So a um, piece about this long is plenty. I might could have cut it a little bit longer. For the cups, it's fine, but if I wanted to put it in something deeper, a little longer would be better. So anyway, I'll try to get these lining up with the label coming out. Put it in through one side like this. It comes up and just, so just feed it through like that. Try to even it up a little bit. And what I'll do is I'll hold it, say I'm holding it up against the side a little bit. And that way I'm trying to keep it suspended up into the potty medium and not like all the way down. So I hold the loop while keeping it the same length. Hold the loop up a little bit and then I'll just put some cocoa in. Lay the root loop back against what I pulled in. Put in a little more. Sort of pack that down a little bit. And then I'll drop my plant in here. Really, I like to say, roots are a little long, but I probably could trim them back, but it's okay. I could probably, actually I've got an extra plant. I just realized that. Let me pull this one out. So I can put this back in the air garden. This is another yellow reaper. There's actually a third one right there too. That guy out as well. So anyway, I could pick off some of the like the cotties and um, these first leaves if I wanted, but um, anyway, that's fine. So I just kind of you know hold it with two fingers, carefully sort of suspend it up like that. Just sort of pack it in as I go along, pull it around. You could mix this cocoa with perlite. Uh, for a bigger container, I would do it for these small nursery pots. It's really not necessary. The um, cocoa is really airy and it's not going to let too much moisture. I mean, it lets the roots breathe even just without adding perlite. So, that, um, so that's ready to basically now I'll put this under the sink. I'll water this in and then put it in an empty cup. Let the, um, where it's been watered in, let it drain out. When that's drained, then I'll, I'll fill the, um, up to about there with water, and then up to about there with uh, Master Blend. So really it ends up being about a 50-50-ish uh, mix. And I reckon if you're doing cocoa watering, use something to catch the, if any of it falls out, you don't want it really going down your drain, something like this. Um, no, it's just using tap water, even even a little less, just so it doesn't flood it out so fast. But I just kind of slowly, um, 
water it in. Tilting it around, I actually drop some out. This is why I say it's good to have one of these. Kind of push that down. Watering it in kind of helps the wicking process start too. It wettens the wick that's inside. It's a little better angle there, so you can um, so you can see I'm doing that. Um, it's going to take your time with it, and uh, you can see where it's running out, and it's heavy too. So basically, I take this empty cup for now. Just drop this in here and then just let it set a few minutes and um, all the excess will run out. Then I'll dump this out, rinse it, and then do my half and half master blend in water and then it's ready to go. So that's that's how I do these. Uh, a lot of it's just kind of stuff that I'm trying. I always try a little something different or try to learn from last year's mistakes and make improvements and I, I kind of like these but there are definitely some cons to it as well. I uh, just wanted to share that. So anyway, uh, we'll give another update in a couple weeks or so. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like that. Please like, comment, and subscribe.